I've got some great news to announce. Genus 3 have released a Windows appliance. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1. Under end devices, available appliances, you can filter for the Windows appliance. Now in my example, it's not displaying, but if you're using version 2.1, you may see it as a available appliance. If it doesn't display, or you're using GNS3 version 2.0, you can get it from the GNS3 Marketplace. So go to GNS3.com, click on Marketplace, click on Appliances, and search for the Windows Appliance. Click on the Appliance, and click Download Template to download the template to your local computer. Then go to File, Import Appliance, browse to your Downloads directory, Click on the Windows GNS3 appliance and click open. Now we told a bit about the appliance. This is a Windows appliance. It requires a 64-bit operating system and it requires KVM. In this example, we're going to install Windows within the GNS3 VM. So KVM support is required which means you need to run a VMware product such as VMware Workstation or VMware Player or VMware Fusion. You can't use a VirtualBox with this appliance. A VirtualBox doesn't support nested virtualization. I'm gonna click Next. I'm asked to select where the appliance will run. It's gonna run on the GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click Next. I'm told that the server requirements are okay. So I'm gonna click Next. Now various Windows operating systems are supported. We've got Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7 with Internet Explorer 11, 10, 9, and 8. In this example, I'm gonna use Windows 7 with Internet Explorer 11. Now I currently don't have the Windows files, so I'm gonna select on the VMDK file that I require you would simply do that for whichever operating system that you want. Either Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, Internet Explorer 11, and so forth. So select the VMDK file and click Download. We're told that we'll be redirected to the vendor site. Click OK. Your browser is opened and you're taken to the Microsoft Edge website. We need to select the virtual machine that we want to download. In my example, it's going to be Internet Explorer 11 on Windows 7. Select the platform. In my example, it's going to be VMware, Windows, or Mac. And then I click Download Zip to download the file to my local hard drive. Now, it's quite a large file. Notice 3.8 gig. Windows 8 is 5.3 gig. Windows 10 is 10.2 gig. So you may have to wait a while for that file to download. That will obviously depend on your internet speed. So my file is now downloaded. So I'm gonna to go to Internet Explorer, Windows 7, VMDK, and click Import. Now a zip file is downloaded, which you may need to extract if you're using a Windows computer. In my example, I'm using a Mac, so the file has already been extracted. So I have a directory called IE11, which I'll double click on. And notice within that, I have the VMDK file. So don't select OVF or MF, select the VMDK file, which is the file that GNS3 is asking us to open. Click open, and the file is then imported onto the GNS3 VM. Now this is a big file. Once again, it's 3.8 gig. 
So it may take a while for your file to be uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Again, that will very much depend on your computer. So simply wait for the file to be uploaded to the GNS3 VM. Uploading. Okay, so my file has been uploaded. Notice it says ready to install. So if I open up the arrow, notice the VMDK file is now found and this version is ready to be installed. So I'm gonna select that and click next. We asked, would you like to install Windows 7 with Internet Explorer 11? I'm gonna say yes. Now we asked to choose our QMU settings. I'm gonna stay with the defaults and click next. Information about the adapter is displayed. Adapter type is E1000. There's one adapter. The amount of RAM used by this virtual machine is one gig. SATA hard drive is being used. Architecture is x86 64-bit. Console type is VNC. KVM is required. So I'm gonna click next. Now this is important. Make sure that you copy the user credentials and store that somewhere. So this is the username, this is the password. Notice also that the appliance will be available in the guest category. And notice that these virtual machines expire after 90 days. In other words, you'll have to recreate them in your project after this time, but you don't have to re-import the appliance. These VMDK files are trial versions of Microsoft Windows, 90 day trials. You'll need to back up your files to say Dropbox or to some other backup system. And when you recreate your Windows virtual machines in 90 days, you can then restore your documents. So again, these are trial versions of Windows, 90 day trials which will expire. Click Finish. Appliance is now installed, click OK. So under End Devices, in my example, under Installed Appliances, now if you're using GNS3 version 2.0, you won't see this Installed Appliances or Available Appliances options. You'll simply see the appliances listed here. So in my example, Windows 7 with Internet Explorer 11 is now available. I can drag that to the workspace and start using it. Before I boot it up, I'm gonna add an ethernet switch to the topology, which I'll run on the GNS3 VM. You don't have to use this, and you don't have to use the NAT cloud. I'm simply gonna use these devices so that I get internet access from the Windows PC. So I'll connect the Windows device to the Ethernet switch, connect the Ethernet switch to the NAT cloud, make this a bit bigger, and I'll start up the devices, and I'll open up a console to the Windows PC. This uses VNC, so as you can see, my Windows appliance is booting up. I get a welcome prompt, and I'm using Windows 7 Enterprise. Now you just have to wait for the appliance to boot up, and there you go. It's installing various device drivers, but at the moment you can see that I can already interact with this appliance. The mouse movement isn't very good at the moment. What I suggest you do is simply allow the appliance to install the drivers and then click restart now to reboot it. It's got to install the relevant drivers and so forth. Otherwise your experience won't be very good. But as you'll notice here, I'm running Windows 7 within QMU and Windows 7 is booting up. The Windows 7 VM is running within the GNS3 VM. So it's booting up again and it's gonna order login. And now my mouse movement is a lot better. I'll change the screen resolution to 1024 by 768, click OK. 
save the changes. Now in the background here, we're given a bit of information about licensing, about activation and so forth. I'm gonna change the background to use the Windows 7 theme. And uh, there you go. I've got Windows 7 running within QMU on the GNS3 VM. Notice that within VMware Fusion, I don't have a Windows 7 VM with Internet Explorer. I only have the GNS3 VM. Bootcamp is something special to a Mac, so we don't need to worry about that. I've got this Windows 7 VM running again within the GNS3 VM. So IP config, I've received an IP address from the NAT cloud that allows me to get internet access. So I should be able to ping google.com, which I can. So I could open up Internet Explorer and I'm told that thanks for using our VMs, don't forget to check the download page for newer versions. But in this case, I'm simply gonna go to google.com and notice I am able to surf the internet. I can go to gns3.com and there's the GNS3 website. Now changes that you make on your Windows 7 VM are saved. So if you shut GNS3 down, your changes will be saved. If you bring a new Windows 7 appliance into the workspace, that's a brand new Windows 7 appliance. So it'll act like a separate uh, virtual machine in GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.